In a significant breakthrough, U.S. researchers restore division in patients with eye injuries using their own stem cells. Welcome to Telangana Today, the go-to destination to learn about the latest news and developments in the field of medical science. The U.S. researchers found a revolutionary stem cell treatment called cultivated autologous limbal epithelial cell transplantation to be safe and well tolerated over the short term in four patients with significant chemical burns in one. I. The team of Mass INE, a member of Mass General Brigham, followed the patients for 12 months who experienced restored corneal surfaces. Two were able to undergo a corneal transplant and two reported significant improvements in vision without additional treatment. Our early results suggest that CALEC might offer hope to patients who have been left with untreatable vision loss and pain associated with major corneal injuries, said Principal Investor investigator and lead study author Ola Jurkunas, Associate Director of the Cornea Service at Mass INEO, also added that the cornea specialists have been hindered by a lack of treatment options with a high safety profile to help the patients with chemical burns and injuries that render them unable to get an artificial cornea transplant. They are hopeful that with further study, CALEC can one day fill this crucially needed treatment gap. In CALEC, stem cell from a patient's healthy eye are removed via a small biopsy and then expanded and grown on a graft via innovative manufacturing process. After 2-3 weeks, the CALEC graft is sent back to the doctors and transplanted into the eye with the corneal damage. People who experience chemical burns and other eye injuries may develop limbal stem cell deficiency and irreversible loss of cells in the tissue surrounding the cornea. These patients experience a permanent vision loss pain and discomfort in the affected eye. Without limbal cells and a healthy eye surface, patients are unable to undergo artificial cornea transplants, the current standard of vision rehabilitation. In the phase 1 trial of CALEC, described in the journal Science Advances, the first patient was a 46-year-old male who experienced a resolution of his eye surface defect. It primed him to undergo an artificial cornea transplant for vision rehabilitation. The second, a 31-year-old year old male experienced a complete resolution of symptoms with vision improving from 20 by 40 to 20 by 30. The third was a 36 year old male who had his corneal defect resolved and his vision improved from hand motion only being able to see broad movements like waving to 20 by 30 vision. The fourth was a 52 year old male who initially did not have a successful biopsy that resulted in a viable stem cell graft. After re-attempting CALEC, three years later, he underwent a successful transplant and his vision improved from hand motion to being able to count of fingers. He then received an artificial cornea. The phase 1 trial shows promise said the researchers who now aim to advance to a second phase of the trial. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to Telangana today for more information on the latest medical research across the globe.